Hello everyone, it's me again. This time I'm going to record part 63 of my Raven Spirits 2 gameplay. This time I've confirmed the number. I think so. No, sorry, part 64. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm such a mess with the numbers right now. You know. So I'm going to do the money second to last championship. Look at the stats, they are almost done. But well, I mean, this time I'm going to do some different thing. And I'm going to go to race the most expensive road bike in this game that it's not a concept bike. I mean, it's the, it's the, the most expensive one. And well, I'm going to do a simple yet, well, extremely effective change when it comes to power. Yeah, I think that's more than enough, or maybe this. Yeah, this time. 134, 175, although, well, the, the weight is gonna decrease a bit. And even though I do not like the, the black rings at all, I'm going to stay with them. Um, for some reason I do not understand. Yeah, okay, because, well, because changing it would be a... A weight reduction, I do not think I need it. Let me change slightly the camera position. It oh, a bit too much. It's hard to keep it perfectly balanced. Oh, uh, well. Oh, I forgot about the tire compound. Yeah, because otherwise this, this shit is going to be pretty wild. Do not want that. And I'm going to change the tires. Fuck it, I mean, yeah. 17 inch. Trying to see the best ones. Always like these ones. You know, red look awkward but cool. Wow. Okay, gold. That was gold. Yellow. Oh, yeah. So much yellow. Ah, no, I'm just gonna raise, yeah, red rings. I mean, I think they look cool. 168 and 130 something horsepower. It's pretty, it should be pretty much, you know, a decent bike for this championship. Yeah, I do not think I'll have problems to win. I mean, I do not know, I mean, this championship is really weird because even though it should be the, the hardest one because, you know, it's the main championship of the highest level, there's a problem that I think that uh, tournaments and events on the right are, are much harder to beat for some reason. No, no, it's just something really, something really strange. So well, let's see. I, I don't know. I, I don't think I'll have problems. Yeah. Oh, extremely cra crappy start. At least I'm recuperating, kinda easy, to be honest. Going for possibly a speed triple. No, it's not a speed triple, it was some naked bug. Well, it wasn't some naked bug. That's a Z ZXR750. About to hit a Ducati. Okay, now I hit it. That's a CBR. And let's see who's leading. I guess it's gonna be the R6. Yeah, because I couldn't see it before. I should have done some transmission change, maybe the heavy duty clutch or the shifter. Yeah, because this is not feeling fast.
power nahi no no just trying to have a fun race i mean my bike is much older and maybe i do not have enough upgrades My bike should be like two, two seconds a lap fast. Well, at least one, a second and a half faster than this. I mean, if you think about it, this bike should be as, as fast as a, as a Ducati 999. And it isn't. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Pretty nice win. I mean, I think it was basically because of cornering. Not because of, you know, of power. And also, Cornelian shouldn't be on my side, since, well, my bike is heavier. And by the way, it, couldn't, it can't be a speed triple, it's a speed 4. Yeah. Strange chimneys. Hmm. The R6 is still much, much faster than anything else. So I'll try to see what, what I need to do. I do not like that my first year is completely dead. There's a huge lack of, uh, you know, the, uh, that thing is way too long. And I feel like my bike essentially dies. slow it accelerates out of the slow turns. Jesus Christ with the computer. Yeah, because that's a, that's a computer. Making my bike, uh, make, uh, cancelling the torque of my bike. Just to avoid, you know, high sides and all of, uh, from first year. Or wheelies. But that makes it a an, an stupidly slow bike on first year. Motherfucking technology, I hate it. Yeah, because it doesn't happen in second year. Or third. I mean, it's only that uh, first year, you know, trying to essentially, you know, make it safer for me. But it's only pissing me off. Slower with the, with this R7 than I was with the with the CBR. And the CBR was a 400 cc bike. Yeah, extremely upgraded and all, but but man, this shit can be slow at times. Only. I mean, I, I could, I could reach like 135 or 140 with the, with the, with the CBR. The heavy duty clutch would have been something good, definitely. That and the shifter. Whoa, close to fall, close to falling down. I wa I'm not using a super sport bike because, well, I thought that I could encounter, you know, some 750cc modern, some modern 750cc sports bike. So I was like, okay, let's may, let's have a good shot at winning, you know, just in case we find a modern PSXR 750. But we didn't, so it's been a smooth sail overall. Although I can still complain about the motherfucking useless piece of shit that this bike is right now. Uh, 
and it's just that it's so funny slow. I shouldn't be, be able to break so late. You know, breaking deep that late with this kind of powerful, uh, with a bike this, you know, this supposedly powerful, should mean that I go fucking straight into the wall. Some of you might might be thinking right now. Yeah, I'm also going slow. Uh, I have a slower top sp uh, lower top speed with this than with the CBR because the CBR has a much much shorter gear ratio. But you know, since this is racetrack riding and not motorway riding, uh, well, I would I would you know be great be grateful about you know having a bike with a short gear ratio. I mean, that's why naked bikes are sometimes really useful in this game. Because the gear range is fucking short, so well, you get to your top speed at the end of the fucking straight, not like 500 yards after the end of the straight. And maybe not even with 500 year, yards more. Yeah, I mean, um. Okay, Black Forest 2. Let's see what I can do. I mean, winning is okay for me, I mean, I do not. I mean, I'm winning and all, but I need a better bike. I mean, I think it would be much better. We need education better. Whoa, overtaking everyone. Come on. No fucking power whatsoever. And there goes the power. so fucking long as well. I think I'll be racing on manual from now on. Just so I can try I, I can try to use the the true power and capabilities of this bike because well the manual shifting on this bike is well extremely shitty. Sorry the automatic Facing the turn is so much different with without with manual transmission or with a good automatic transmission. I mean, I can go I can go full throttle all the way through the, uh, around the, through the corkscrew, not because I have tons of grip, but because I have no uh, no fucking power. It's like well, the bike is so slow, I can accelerate all I want and I won't slide out. But I won't run out, run off, t uh, you know. I will, I'll, st I'll still be able to keep it on the tarmac. Especially for the super speedway, it is going to help me a lot. Because in, uh, on the super speedway, I'm gonna gonna be playing around with the gears a ton more. And it's like some fat ass guy is riding the bike, 
and changing the years for me. Wow. Oh God, nobody knows how much I hit the fucking first year on this bike. I don't know, it's just, I, I, I see it, and I get angry. It's an automatic reaction. I mean, I like bikes to, you know, to have some, uh, some aggressivity. Aggressiveness, sorry. You know, the bike being, uh, having some character, some kick. But this bike has no fucking kick, no fucking, you know, no rage, no aggression, nothing. I mean, just the difference between first and second year is so big. the super speedway race not because of you know of me riding like crap it's gonna be because I'm not gonna be able to you know to start like a normal fucking being I'm going to start so fucking slowly that well I'm not gonna be able to get off the line before they reach like turn two of the of the oval well race I even with a crash. But it's a still fucking retarded. Change it to mild and we shall try now. Like, uh, I must change it on the, on the next screen. I do not like it. At all, at all, at all, at all. No, not settings. Fuck! Thanks. Options. Controls. I'm not using fifth gear at all, at all because I still haven't found a straight long enough for it. concentrate so much to get it right. I mean, 
I know it might not be that cool for you as, as spectators, but for me it's much, much cooler to ride this way. So I'm trying to change the years realistically. You know, getting about the engine and all. But I'm still having a, a hard time with that because, well, it's not that easy when you are not used to it. I think I tend to downshift a bit early. Although I used to do that when I had a, when I had when I ra when I rode motorbikes. Yeah, at least the first year, the first the first downship was usually pretty early for me. Ah, it's just my style. Not the best of the styles, but you know. Also, I'm sure some of you love the, the manual transmission racers with the Ducati. Consider this an extension, a bonus round for that. At least I'm, this is not like in real life. In real life, I used to uh, to forgot about what what year I was riding. I guess it was because it's enduro, and well, enduro it's uh, well, years are so short that sometimes the difference between third and fourth year isn't that big. a bit more effective with this way of riding. Ah, it just feels and it feels it feels nicer. The only problem is that the amount of concentration needed is a bit too over the top for me. I do not really like that, but well it's not that big of a deal. Oh shit. I, I, I knew I was going to face the Queen's Backyard too sooner or later on this series. But the problem is that with this, with the first year of this fight being so fucking slow, this is going to be a motherfucking nightmare. I mean, remember that world well, that I have to face the. I was a 
really do I, but whatever. fucking slowly around Wow, way too, way too slow Way too wide Oh crap Completely necessary upshift not really. too fast to, you know, to slightly bump into the, into the invisible wall there. Force here, because fuck it. slow at these speeds doesn't want to accelerate Yeah, 
And I was writing on manual transmission, so... Mixed feelings about that, uh, that lab. Well, that's race of the championship, oh, and the, and the Yamaha R6 might not win, after all. Nice. Well, kind of nice. as a 3 as a 4 stroke uh, 500cc bike for the Grand Prix but it didn't work out because well essentially everybody, everybody else was riding 500cc 2 stroke and well that bike wasn't fast enough where is it? I always forgot what kind of engine does, uh, does uh, NR have and uh, well you might see beat out for cylinder so you say, oh, it's pretty normal. No, it isn't. The cylinders are not, you know, circle shaped, but they are egg shaped. I mean, this bike has a fucking ton of technology put together. I mean, it's a, I mean if you think about the te technical aspect, it's a wonderful bike. I mean, it's fucking crazy. It's fucking innovative. It's, it's quite cool. But the result was fucking awful. I mean, uh, Honda, well, the the NR500 never worked, and they and they had to put so much money to make the Honda NR this bike, this model, this kind of bike, the 750. They had to put so much money to make it effective. They well, they want they just wanted to show the world something that well, it didn't work. I mean, they they only wanted to show. It. To the world that like, hey, we can do this and we can make it work. But in the end, they only they only drop a fucking ton of money on a fucking useless bike. I mean, the egg-shaped cylinders have. I don't I don't think they've they've been used again. 
I mean, the, for example, the, I think the successor was the RC30, I mean, the, and then this one. And this one, and this bike has a completely, it's a completely different approach from the NR. Ah, it's just Honda being Honda being, you know, fucking obsessive about that thing that will never work, never ready. So, well, with that little talk about the, about the stupid Honda NR, I finished the, seg the segment. And, well, I know, I hope you liked the racing, although there, wa there wasn't much battle. And, well, see you next time. Bye bye.